Howdy, and welcome to the Maine Country Music Hall of Fame, right next to Tri-Town Gymnastics here in Mechanic Falls. They do monthly tours, and if you want to get more information, you have to call ahead of time. This is my first time ever going to any sort of music hall of fame. So this is my first rodeo. I've got my origin jeans on, and I got my cowboy boots, and I'm ready to giddy up. Today I'm joined with Paul, Jane, and I'm here with Ken. All are part of the Maine Country Music Hall of Fame. With all the stories that are here from all the different musicians here, which story sticks out to you the most? I guess the very first one I think of is Melly Dunham, our, our oldest. He was inducted long after he was passed. But his story about being a fiddler coming from Norway, Maine, and getting introduced to Henry Ford and being able to travel around the world because Henry thought he should be out there sharing his fiddling. I guess that's the one I think of very first. And, uh, no, he, he's, he's been gone. Charlie Brown, he's been gone. Ever since so, he took the football out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And country music's always been about the story. <clears throat> and hopefully there have been good musicians to back up the story, sometimes back up singers. But country music uh, started out as a story. Um, it may be sad, it may be humorous, uh, it may be tragedy, but it's a story. And pretty much all country music was like that initially and maintained that. Uh, for today's country music is a little different. I think country music comes from the high. You can't, I can't write a song unless I feel it. And what I'm trying to do is to communicate a thought process through music. What I want to do is to find a lyric that is enhanced by a melody. So there's a marriage between the two. This museum is living proof that we have as much talent in the state of Maine as any other state. And fortunately, we had people, founders with enough foresight to, to start it. And we're, we are simply the custodians of it. What, we're the carekeepers until the next generation comes along. Well, butter my buns and call me Betty Crocker. This place is amazing. Thank you guys so much.